go. And the first ball is knocked over the top, over a point, and it's hit away. Can you believe that the first ball on cricket, on ice cricket, is hit backward square for four runs? What a fantastic shot! And that was a bit of a slip in the field, went for the legs, and a bit of a misfield, which went for four for Dushan. Yeah, so it's the divots form very quickly in the snow, of course. As soon as you start running around and fielding the ball, you're causing divots all the time and holes in the snow. And I think that must have hit some sort of a rut. It's a beautifully shaped cover drive, four runs, a fantastic shot through mid-off. And really, Verinda uh, <laughs> Seyra getting used to this uh, ice cricket very quickly. That was over-pitched, wasn't it? What a... He's gone out towards long on there. Oh, he's gone aerial. It's gone in the air and it's gone for six, the first six. Absolutely, and I think they're very aware, these players, that they do go aerial. The ball is going to travel, isn't it? It's a bit like hitting the ball in Johannesburg. It goes a long way. And again, it's got the uh, pitching wedge out there. As the ball is almost flicked into the air. It's by uh, <laughs> Sewag, who races on to 29 off 14 balls. Well, yes, this is quite an impressive start uh, by these two batsmen. Sewag really getting used to this. Of course, and Sewag was in, into this at the instigation. He's been uh, really... This is unique. This is fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, the big swing, ball up in the air. Could be the first wicket. Doolan getting under it and taken. <laughs> but the shot will go. There we go. Up in the air. Well seen. Uh, yeah, top edge and very good uh, catch from Awaz Shah. Oh, crashed away. And that's going to be a huge six from what I can see. He's on fire, Viru. Look at this. Log sweep towards square leg into the stands. Unbelievably pretty, that's for sure. This one down leg, glanced it away. That could be another two. In fact, the previous third. Uh, Two was the first double. It crosses the line. Come on, Jerry. back there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, edge. how he edged it. <laughs> Finally given big appeal by Shahid. And, uh, well, former Sri Lankan captain. There it is. Try to dab it down. Definite edge. And uh, pretty easy catch. Shahid, delighted. <laughs> He's commentating from there. He's, he says he's going to play first ball towards third man. <laughs> well, wrong choice. <laughs> they define like big diving effort there. Well done. Uh, the team appreciates that. And they're trying to race across for the two. Oh, he may be gone. This is very close. You may say there was no need. Let's have a look at the replay there. Good throw. Matt Pryor, the wicket keeper. Ooh, tight, but I'd say that's gone. And I that reckon he's de definitely gone. He came all the way from Australia, arrived last night after 40 <laughs> hours, played one ball. I just think he underestimated uh, the difficulties in running. I mean, the pitch is okay, it's got AstroTurf, as you said, but uh, you still have to motor along, and Michael Hussey may in fact be declared out here, which is uh, such a shame. Well, there we are. O-U-T. Wasim, what a shame. Good cricket. Savag once again thrashes it high into the sky. And that's going to be a big six again. And here we go. Change of bowling. Daniel Vittori down leg. First ball. And that could be the first 50 on ice. And that belongs to Virinda Savag. What a fabulous innings. We'll have to say very aggressive. Typical Savag. Wasim, a delight. Absolutely. Another record to his name. The first 50 on a frozen leg, 54 of 25 balls, three fours and five massive sixes. Strike rate of two, 216. Absolutely good recovery by the Diamonds. Flighted delivery. There was the first one towards square leg. Massive six. Well, it's hard enough without the divots. Oh, up in the air again. This time it should be taken at a uh, oh. wicket it is. Good catch for sure. Fred Sewag will finally have to go, but what a nice knock. There it is, Izzy, up in the sky. So Simons takes over. Where we're in the Sewag had left off, and he can hit the ball big when he does. Oh, he catch him. Oh. How about that now? Well, did Nathan McKinnon get a finger to it or a hand? It Simons. is going upstairs. 
Well, he, he does get a hand to, to it. it. So where's Simons' bat? That's the key. Did McCullum get a hand to it? Yes. It's a difficult angle to tell, Simons. isn't it? Well, not from this angle, but I'm sure we'll get another. And Simon seems to be pretty cool about it. Yeah, he's back. He's oh, well, well done, Andrew Simons. Absolutely yeah. safe. He knew what was going on there. <laughs> Quick response by the big man. No, he doesn't want the same bad luck as uh, Michael Hussey. He only oh. faced one ball, didn't he? He scored one <laughs> run and was run out. Yeah, well, I have to uh, say eventually. that was his score. I wasn't mm. too keen on the double. That was earlier. Michael Hussey getting no score. Just a quiet single to uh, mid on. With our aerial view behind the bowler's arm, and that's a bit of a slog. It's going to be caught. Yes, it is. Is he over the boundary, though? I think that was caught over the boundary there. The Colossus, the giant of a man from South Africa. <laughs> caught it over the line, over the boundary. Again, a little bit too short. Just rocks onto the back foot. That's put away easily, isn't it? The deep mid wicket. The quality of these batters, he's just rocked back on the back foot and a short arm punch really through the onside. A great shot for four. Bit of a mess in the end. As uh, McCullum continues. Yeah, really freeing the arms there. Full blooded drive. Uh, apart from that, I think. Uh, Shoes gets really cold, so he needs special footwear as well, and uh, hands get really cold, so that, that's something which uh, we have to take care of. But Accelerating. Several sixes to his name. That's the end of that partnership. They've got the 50 partnership up. And well caught. Big appeal, and we've got another one. They're dropping like flies at the moment. And later on here we have maybe the second uh, wicket. This is the most behind. recent. And three, I suspect they will go to about 170. Up in the air, should be taken easily, and it is. Yes, flighty delivery, outside edge from Pavar, and very easy catch. Up in the air, oh, and it slipped. Yeah, I reckon it's a good ball. Oh, up in the air, and uh, that's not going to go for six for sure. It might just create a bit of the... Oh, it's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Shabby, 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 inside out, all the way for the maximum. Another six from the Diamonds. Oh, again, swinging away, and this could be taken by Rozak as well, and it is very easily. <laughs> That's his second catch. Second catch of the game. Look at this, log sweep on a short delivery. Razak there, easy as you like. Agarka swing straight up, should be easy. Prior and uh, the ball are getting underneath. Razak says, mine, leave me alone. Let's have a look at the replay. Just a little extra bounce there with a high arm action, top edge. And he shouted at the keeper, mine, mine. And then in the end, he's got the catch and fourth wicket. Yeah, a little too pull to pull as well. And that'll be the last ball. They'll take a run off it. And that'll get them to 164, the Royals. And Badrut's Palace Diamonds haven't done too badly. That's Taken yours. nine wickets. That's uh, pretty good. Batting star of the day, 62 from only 31, striking at 200. Andrew Simon's not bad. Uh, Kev and Sharma also throwing their bats, but uh, just Shan Jaywadhan and Hasi couldn't do too much, and uh, the tail didn't quite wag. But uh, we'll take 164. Not bad for the first ever match, not knowing the conditions. Extra is only three, so we'll have to say the bowlers did pretty well in terms of uh, discipline. I reckon they were quite stiff as well, that's why they were <laughs> extra, were only three. But they came back well. The Royals, as far as their bowling concern, Ashwai Bakhtar, four over 32 for two, Callus, one over 14. Elliot, two overs, 25. Shahid Afridi, ball, ball brilliantly, three overs, 21 for one. Vittori, two overs, 26. Nathan McCallum, four overs, 28 for one. Pick up the bowlers. Abdul Razak, four overs, 18 runs and four wickets. Good afternoon and welcome back to Summerix, the frozen lake at Summerix, 1,800 meters above sea level. Beautiful weather uh, with a target of 165 runs readed of the next 20 overs. Oh, a bit of a friendly loser. And, then... oh. <laughs> and this was a great shot by Matt Pryor. Went through mid-wicket for four. That was a lovely stroke. Swinging in. Full intellect. That's a great shot for me. That's 
So well timed, placed as well, and it races across the boundary. First, first boundary of the innings. Oh. Oh. Little medium pace away swing, which is just nicely placed through uh, back with a point. Late cut for four runs with a lovely little nicely timed shot by Matt Parr. Tell you what, they must have some nice corridors for him to work on, but that's oh. a cut shot. He got low and scooped it over backward point and. Oh. They said that it's in the air, it's in the air, and it's a wicket, he's got it. What a great, what a great catch. He's trying to whip this on the onside, really early on the stroke, hand coming off as well, so spooned up, mid on running in Sharma, that's a very good catch. The great Callis on strike. He's made a great shot right over the top of extra cover. Have a look at this stroke. That is pure class. I'll tell you what, he just oozes class, this, this man. Cantor Smith steps away. And that is a magnificent shot over the over extra cover for four. Smith this time backing away a touch, opening up the offside, over mid off. Oh. And that's taken the edge and it's rushed off this icy outfield through third man for another four. But he just fell short. That's another great shot gone straight. As he did, it's gone all the way for a six. A great shot over a long arm. Massive shot with a straight bat over mid on Simum. And he's hit the ball again. And he's gone through mid wicket for four. What a fantastic shot. And so here can Bowen again. And that's smashed away for four over the over the covers. What a fantastic shot. Up. That's another great oh. shot off the back foot. A full pitch ball. There he's leaned back. Gave himself, gave himself room. Extra cover um, mid off was up in the circle. The famous Balinga on the ice. And his first ball hit beyond the point. Court and uh, Malinga gave them the breakthrough. It was short, it was wide, it didn't middle it, went straight to the fielder at backward point. Easy catch. There's another great shot. The ball on the legs up, but whipped away. Borisha really now taking Malinga away. Good clip off the left side, good technique, finding the gap, a good boundary. Malinga again hit straight, and that looks a fantastic straight shot. Oh, that's a biggie, and I reckon that's a, it's the biggest of the sixes oh, we've seen in this game. All the way. He's much better than mine after all these years, <laughs> my know. word. I... Oh, he mashed it. The middle of the bat, look at that. Going, going, gone. And it's gone nicely. Yeah, and he's got cedar sunglasses as well. <laughs> that's been hit oh. to long off, and it's a great effort, but put down that long off. Oh, my word, he's... he's is that a drop catch or is it a 4-6? Malinga pitching it up. Kind of sitting through the line. Not very much air time. Not very much air time there. <laughs> it's pretty cold, especially exactly. on the commentary box, is he? Where the yeah. wind picks up. Callis again with a big one. And it's huge. That was launched into the atmosphere. Wow, he's hit some big ones, hasn't he, already? Two of the biggest sixes we've seen so far. Joginder Sharma pitching up. And Callis says, thank you, but no gloves. This one much shorter. Oh! Callis leans, and what a catch. <laughs> and uh, you're right, he's a key, key man to get out, Jack Callis. He's still got the strength, hasn't he? Just played off the back foot, but not quite timed. The earlier. Bang! It's up in the air, but uh, didn't quite. Is it caught? Oh. How about that moment, Kef? It's true to form, though, isn't it, for a Freedy here, that he, he does want to hit the leather off every single ball, and he will go for it, and he just picks out the fielder. That's a great catch on the ice at full stretch there from Mohamed Kaif. Well, I think they realise after Ramesh Pawar's success that maybe off spins the way, but uh, this one didn't quite catch the middle of the bat. And has it been stopped? No! Well Purely come about by 2020 cricket. Yep. Oh gosh, that's going to be four. Hit very well, very hard. It is his uh, first over. Yep. He's getting used to these conditions up here at 1,800 metres. You really feel it if you're uh, if you're not used to it. And get out of breath very quickly. 
Oh, how hard did he hit that? Again, thrashed away. And is that going to go for six? No, just a... F oh, it is indicated as a six. Square leg for six. He's enjoying himself out there, Owe Shah. He looked happy at lunchtime. He said he liked the conditions. He got used to them. Once again, swung high, and that's going to be another six. Very expensive by Ajita Gakka this over. And that is Grant Elliott. Goodness me, he doesn't hang around. He's only faced five deliveries, and he's launched with his first six of his end innings. He certainly loves that bat, and the New Zealander uh, Oh, South African, actually. I played a bit under 19 cricket with Grant Elliott, moved to New Zealand, played for the national side. Yep! Just flicked away down the leg side there. It should go for four. Yes, it does. Ball races away. Required. 43 deliveries. And Owe Shah at the moment is moving in the right direction, isn't he? It's beautiful, but everything from the beginning. Cricket on ice has been played in St. Moritz for many, many years among the enthusiast cricketers to have big names coming to Switzerland, to St. Moritz, experience something new. Absolutely. And I'm sure there was a lot of planning and everything that went behind this. On track at the moment here, the Royals, and that is swept away. That really was hit hard, wasn't it? This time, sharp, conventional, slap to the leg side, and he's it flat, hard, and the fielder had no chance. And Owe Shaw on the brink of his half century, and that has gone aerial. Has it gone all the way? Yes, it has got the legs on it, straight into the crowd. Well played. Four sixes in, in total control. Great strike, great raising the bat, showing his appreciation to the locals. Bit of a dab. Lovely work there by the Englishman. Bit of a walk in the park here at the moment for Owe Shah. He's very much got used to the pace of the ball of this drop-in wicket. The bowler's going to do something very special here. It's too short. Just sitting up. Another one. Another one. The end is now. Owe Shah, he's got something to do. I think he's got to get back to the hotel. <laughs> He's got a booking at the spa. I think, I think you're right. This man's in a hurry. He's got the gala dinner tonight. He wants to go out and enjoy himself. Oh, he's clouted it. That's gone for six. That's another slap shot for six, isn't it? Out the meat of the bat, and it's signaled by the umpire. 166 for four. The Royals have won by six wickets. And in fact, almost four overs remaining. So they've really done that in style. A comprehensive win there for the Royals against the Diamonds. And they won the toss the Diamonds earlier on, didn't they? And decided to bat. Put 164 on the board. And a lot of handshaking going on. Shy to free the unfortunately we didn't see any fireworks from him. I was really looking forward to a little bit of a cameo from him as well. But Elliot was there at the end. And here we have the uh, voting figures of the Bad Ritzer Palace Diamonds. A little bit disappointed here, going four overs for 35. Agarkar, three overs for 41. Very expensive, as well as uh, our star, Berlinga. Three overs, one for 39. Th Sharma, two for 16. And we go, there we go, you see, that's the end of the result. Bad Ritzer Palace Diamonds, 164 for nine. And the Royals knocked them off within 15 overs. Within the six wicket win, 166 for four with OHR, magnificent, 74 of 34 balls.